Okay, so today I am going to be dehydrating some zucchini because I got some gorgeous ones out of my garden and we are going away and, well, I'm the only one that actually eats zucchini. So, instead of these going bad, I'm going to dehydrate these. And I am using, oh, pfft, whop, whop, that didn't cut very evenly now, did it? That's all right. Okay, but I am dehydrating these using the Complete Idiot's Guide to Dehydrating. <laughs> I'm not opposed to using those books. I think they're awesome. But it says to cut them about a quarter inch thick, which is what I'm going to try and aim for. And then you got to blanch them. Oh, so you got to turn your water on. I have a pot of water right behind you guys. I don't think you can see that. Okay, two nice little chunks here, let's do that again with the other one, oh that's a bit thick, okay. Then you gotta blanch these for four minutes in some water that has some citric acid. I don't have citric acid, so I'm just gonna put a squeeze of lemon juice in there and call it good. So I'm just gonna get the other one chopped up and I'll bring you back when we're ready to bring it, we're ready to put it in the water. Okay, so we're up to a boil. I've got my squirt of lemon juice in here. And I don't know how much water, I just put enough water in that I think will cover the amount of zucchini I got because I got a lot of zucchini here and that was just from two. So let's just plop those in and try not to burn ourselves because, you know, that's how I roll. And you need to blanch these for four minutes. Now I'm following the instructions because I've never dehydrated zucchini before. So I'm following the legit instructions, so four minutes, and we will be back. Okay. Now it's been four minutes, so now we drain them. That's pretty obvious, right? Get out. Get out. Oh, you... Esky suit. Amy. All right. So I'm done with that and I'm done with that. Now you're supposed to put it into an ice bath. Well, mm, I'm still trying to make ice, so I'm just going to run these under cold water. And yes, I cleaned my sink beforehand. I believe in clean sinks if you're going to be doing stuff like this. For that very reason. Okay. Now, you're supposed to pat these dry. Pretty soft. I was thinking about putting them just through my salad spinner. I think that would mush them. So I'm not even going to bother, and I'm not even going to bother patting these dry because what, it'll take an extra, oops, it's going to take an extra, what, maybe half hour to dry them. whoop de poop Okay, so we're going to go over to my dining room table and we are going to put these on the dehydrator. Okay. Yep, I hit the button. Okay. So my poor dehydrator has had no break for this week. Because I've been drying herbs, and I have been drying, oh, I've just been drying lots of things, guys. Okay. So, let's just get these on the dehydrator. As best we can. And, okay. So, we'll be right back as soon as I got these all filled up. Okay, so I've got 
four trays of zucchini and they're all single layered there might be the odd one that's kind of like overlapping and touching that's a big huge one but that's okay and it says in the book to dry at 125 but I'm gonna dry it at 145 because you're supposed to dry 10 degrees hotter 10 degrees hotter if you live in a humid uh, humid area or whatever and it's raining well it's not really raining right now but it was raining earlier and it's very humid out so I'm gonna dry this at 145 instead of 125 because well I don't I I can't always follow instructions guys and 125 just doesn't seem hot enough for me so because even my thing says 135 for fruits and vegetables so I'm gonna go at 145 and I'll let you guys know how long it takes it'll probably won't be until tomorrow you guys see this video it's uh what time is it it is 10 to 9 now so we'll see how long this takes so we'll be back okay so this has been drying overnight it's actually been almost 24 hours later because of some of the pieces just weren't dirt weren't quite dry yet so I figured I'll just let it go overnight I haven't even looked at it I just turned it off this morning so this is my first time looking at them and they are all nice and dry and gorgeous looking can you see that you can hear they're definitely dry so there we go so whenever I want some zucchini I can just rehydrate it and eat it or something else I'm considering doing is dehydrate is grinding it up and making it into zucchini powder then my family won't know they're eating it I whispered it but I'm not really whispering it because well I still have to kind of yell <laughs> but I have no children awake either so okay but there we go there is dehydrating zucchini so I hope you guys like and I will see you again soon bye